Hi everyone, for today's tip, I'd like to talk about wheel and tire cleaning and how to do this yourself during your weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly maintenance washes on your vehicle. Now, it's very important to keep your rims clean, especially contaminant free from brake dust. To start, I just want to talk about the wheel or the rim itself and how to properly clean and maintain these. Once a month, at least twice a year, I like to do a metal decontamination on the rim itself and that helps get that brake dust off the rim. Uh, so what I like to start with is OptiCoat Ferrex Wheel and Body Cleaner. This is a great ferrous metal remover so it's great on brake dust. The really cool thing about this product is as you apply it to a surface and it comes in contact with any brake dust on your rims, it's going to turn like purple in color so you can see how contaminated your rim is and where all that brake dust is built up. So let's get started and show you how that works. I simply spray it on, get good coverage all over the entire rim. And again, it doesn't take a lot of product. Now we'll give this just a little bit of time to work. So now after we've let this sit for about 30 seconds to a minute or so to let it really dwell, I'll go in and agitate it with a very soft wheel and body brush that won't scratch the surface of the rim. And we'll give this just another minute to dwell. Okay. Now we want to thoroughly rinse this product off. So you can see that we're already looking a whole lot better. But now we still need to go in with another cleaner and really get detailed on our cleaning and get in all these nooks and crannies, get around these bolts, let some product get in there and remove any other contaminants that may be left on the surface. My preferred product for that is OptiCoat Power Clean. This is a great all-purpose cleaner. We do have this available at our shop and this bottle is already pre-diluted at 3 to 1 ready to go use. So this product is very simple to use. Again, get good coverage on the wheel. It doesn't take a lot of product. Now, another tip for using Power Clean is I really like this IK9 foamer, but you put your Power Clean in here and you can even dilute it down a little further because this foaming action is really going to help with the cleaning power of the product. So what I like to do is put it in this foamer, and it doesn't take a whole lot of product. I barely used any. Now I can let this product foamed up sit on the rim for a little bit do its agitation and really work on loosening up those contaminants. I'll also go ahead and get some up in the barrels. This, really, this foam will really helps get the product around inside the barrel. So we've let this foam agitate on the rim now for a while. So let's go back in. We'll give it a little bit more agitation. Now for the barrel maintenance, if you stay on top of keeping your, keeping your barrels clean when they're new or after you've got them clean once, it's going to make it a whole lot easier to keep them clean. I like to use wheel woolies, and these are really good for getting in those tight spots. Now that we've had a chance to let that product dwell both on the outer part of the rim and in the barrel, we'll go ahead and give it a good rinse. Okay, now let's talk about your tire itself. How do we clean that? Again, my favorite cleaner to use is Optimum Power Clean. And Power Clean doesn't take a lot of product to work. It's better to use a little bit of product, let it do its job, and if you need to do it again, come back and hit it a second time. Again, I also like to use 
my power clean, and my foam sprayer for this part of cleaning. And we'll let this dwell. And the foaming action of power clean will do a lot of the work of the cleaning for you. Hopefully the camera's picking it up, but that power clean is already turning brown. It's already lifting dirt and contaminants off that tire. It's getting inside those little tiny ridges in the tire itself and getting that stuff loosened up, all that dirt, road debris, and breaking, helping it break loose. So again, after we've given the power clean a little bit of time to agitate and work, I'll come back with my wheel of body brush, agitate it a little more. Now that the power clean's had a little chance to work and dwell, let's rinse it off. Now, this tire really looks clean, but everything looks nice and clean when it's wet. So what I'll do is I'll come back a second time just to make sure I've got everything lifted off and I'll go through this process one more quick time. And if that power clean stays nice and white as I agitate it, then I know that I have that tire nice and clean because it's no longer lifting any contaminants or removing anything from the rubber itself. So there you have it, a good, clean, decontaminated rim, a nice, clean tire that we can dry and get ready to apply our favorite tire dressing to. Thanks everyone, I hope you've enjoyed this tip. Stay tuned for more to come. Have a great day.